Hey guys, Henry here, and today we're going to be talking about the Netflix series Sex Education and whether it is worth a watch. So, the Netflix show Sex Education is about the life of a 16-year-old called Otis, played by Asa Butterfield, whose mother is a sex therapist, and he finds that by utilizing his own experience and passive learning from his mother and his ability to understand others and empathize, he's able to make money and, in a weird way, gain popularity by being a sex therapist at his high school. This premise is pretty wild, and the show definitely has the potential to fall into a cliche high school drama. However, the guise of Otis being a teenage sex therapist actually opens doors to explore much more than just sex. This show literally is the definition of sex cells. I mean, the opening scene of the first episode is literally a sex scene with boobs and tits flying around everywhere. But the product they deliver is well worth it. It draws you in with its sexy, wacky premise, but you stay for its commentary on the struggle of adolescence. The show really has a dynamic range. It has outrageously funny moments, balanced by extremely heartbreaking moments. It has earnest and tearful moments between family members, and it also has elements of romance. It tastefully explores so many aspects of adolescence, whether it be about sex, masturbation, or pregnancy, or whether it be about relationships between friends, lovers, family, teachers, principles. The show is not just about Otis. It's really balanced and it's filled with deep and complex characters that all get showcased. Two stood out to me in particular. Otis's best friend Eric, played by Shuti Gatwa, and Otis's mother Jean, played by Gillian Anderson. Eric, Otis's best friend, is gay, out there, and very, very optimistic. He's always full of energy and positivity, especially when he's around Otis. But when he sees his bully coming for him, his demeanor completely changes. His performance is real, and he delivers with emotional heft. While Otis may struggle with masturbation and talking to girls, Eric faces a completely different set of struggles, and Gatwa captures it perfectly. Meanwhile, Otis's mom, Jean, is also a great character. Too often in shows about teenagers in high school, parents just get pushed to the side and ignored, as they are adults that just don't get it. Jean has problems of her own, her being a sex therapist and always needing to feel informed about Otis's life, more specifically his sex life, and her inability to accept that she doesn't really have any control over him or that he won't need her anymore is a very real challenge that people face as their children go through high school. She may be a therapist and she may seem like she knows everything, but the one thing that she doesn't know is Otis, her son and it drives her crazy that she just doesn't fully understand him. There are just so many characters and perspectives in this show. You'll definitely be able to find someone relatable, and all the characters are extremely likable, and really, I'm rooting for all of them in one way or another. Another element of the show is that there's no clear antagonist. There's just a bunch of misunderstood people. Each character has the potential to be a protagonist or an antagonist in any story arc, and I found this dynamic to be really satisfying because in real life, you don't really meet evil people or people with really bad intentions. You just meet people and maybe you misunderstand each other or you have different ideas. And that's where conflict occurs, not just because someone is just evil. I also really enjoyed the cinematography and camera directions during a lot of the sex and masturbation scenes. They were all really creative and pretty awesome to experience on screen. You, you just have to watch the show and you'll know what I mean. The world that they built has a really strange vibe. It's set in the UK, but has so many American elements. Like in the high school, they use lockers or the jocks wear letterman jackets. It's also set in modern day and they have smartphones, but yet it feels so retro with the soundtrack and the set design. This show is very optimistic. It's really about this guy Otis, who has no real sexual experience, giving everyone else advice about their sex lives. Because what it boils down to is not how experienced you are or how smart you are, is that you care. And Otis is a character that cares, and he tries his best to help wherever he can. The series currently has one season with eight 45 minute episodes, and it is very likely there's gonna be a season two coming. So, is sex education worth a watch? Yeah, it's definitely worth a watch. It's smart. It's funny, it's an emotional ride, and it's about something that we all don't love talking about that much. Sex. And also our relationships with others. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more content from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you've seen Sex Education, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.